Hi, this is the Countess, and I'm the curmudgeon. Join us as we explore the thrilling world of general aviation. Series three, four, five Tango Sierra, north ramp with golf westbound. There's five Tango Sierra, runway one five, taxi via Alpha Bravo, hold short of one five on Alpha. All right, one five via Alpha Bravo, hold short of one five on Alpha. Five Tango Sierra. Boy, this is not an easy thing to draw. All right, very good. Okay. I think we know where we're going here. I can listen to that again, now. There's 5 Tango Sierra, runway 15, taxi via Alpha Bravo, hold short of 15 on Alpha. Yeah, that was right. Well, hold short of 15 on Alpha. That's what I read back to him, and that was correct. Okay, off we go. Big bird off to my left. Whoa, ho, look at that. Wow, what is that, a turkey vulture? Dude, I want to be there. All right, she doesn't want me to go past 1.5, so this is Alpha. That's fine. Yeah, that's pretty smart. Is that very cool? Huh. Beauty. Uh, so that the wind doesn't get underneath it, right? So it's kind of strange because that would normally lift the wing up if I had any airspeed. But because the wind is coming that direction, I want the aileron. There's five tangos here across runway 1.5 on Alpha, cross 7 left on Bravo. Cross 1-5 on Alpha, cross 7 left on Bravo, on Tango Sierra. Okay, so now I can cross them all. And I don't see anybody coming down that runway. Okay, good. So, clear left. That's great. I'm going to turn on Bravo here. I see a helicopter up there. He cleared me to cross seven left, so I'm going to cross seven left. Yeah. Approaching runway zero okay, seven. Okay, now left. I got the wind right two, five, on my right. tail. Enter runway about zero that. seven it's left. Strong, two five so right. Anyway. Okay. See if I can get all the way up to one five pretty easily. There's that helicopter, lovely, thank you, helicopter. Looks like he's doing maneuvers right on the runway. Alright, try and stay on the center line there, Bob. Okay, lovely, lovely. A little warm today, not as hot as the other day, so we should not have uh, much reduced performance. What's the temperature here? It's about 81 degrees, so not nearly as bad. And the wind is a lot better today, too. A lot calmer. So, it shouldn't be a big deal. Alright. Here we go. Alright, fuel caps are secure. Uh, the selector is on the right tank, so that's good. Uh, left turn, left aileron up, right down, right turn, right aileron up, left down. I can see the elevator, I can see the rudder. They're all working. Flaps should be at 50. Mixture full forwards. Uh, I'm gonna, got, I've got my pump on. Let's put that power up a little higher. Push the mixture forward and the power comes down because it cools the engine off. Okay, uh, we're gonna do a run up. Let's do the run up. Get it up to 1700 RPM. There we go, that's pretty good. We're gonna turn on all the power, so all the lights and the pedo heat. We're still making 28 volts, so that's good. All right, thanks. Two to the left. I hear the drop, I see the rise. Two to the right. I hear the rise, I see the drop. One to the left. I hear the drop, I see the rise. One to the right. I 
I hear the rise, I see the drop. Idle. Idle good, 1,000 RPM. Excellent. Get the trim ball set. Okay, there goes the trim, that's good. Everything's nicely trimmed, so that's great. Go to the power. Now to power, here is 345 Tango Sierra, ready to depart runway 15. 5 Tango Sierra, Coach Tower, hold short of runway 15. Hold short 15, 5 Tango Sierra. Must have somebody coming in. I don't see them. Maybe he's got that jet over there crossing. Oh yeah. He told him to cross 15, so he doesn't want me cramming into him. Good idea. And let's just open that door. One last time, then we're going to shut it. Clear for the option. Clear for the option, 1-5, 1 Juliet here. Okay, now we got somebody else coming in. Alright, that's fine. I don't see him. But, must be out there somewhere. like that wind is going to be pretty close to right down the runway. Maybe a little bit from my right, but I don't think it's concerning. Oh, it's the helicopter again. Okay. Helicopter's coming in. Going to do an approach on the on the runway. See what he does. Meanwhile, everything here looks good. Mixture, pump, flaps, temperatures. Everybody's happy. 1,000 RPM. Yep, okay. Here this guy comes, he's going to put it down on the runway and then probably just take off again. Nice hover, man. Nice hover. Okay, put it right on down. Yeah, nice. Pretty. 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 And up he goes, and away. Should clear me any second. Door closed. Helicopter. Just by Tango Sierra, proceed on course with the right turn to the west, runway 15, clear for takeoff. Right turn to the west, clear for takeoff, 15, 5 Tango Sierra. Okay, here we go. Approaching boy, oh runway boy, oh 15. Okay. Entered runway 15. 4,400 feet remaining. Alright, line her up. Helicopter's well out of my way at this point. And away we go. A little bit of right rudder. Yep, there we go. Right rudder, right rudder, right rudder. Good, good, good. Okay, right on the center line. Temperatures, pressures all look good. Fuel flow looks good. 60, 70, no. Woohoo! That little bump was, huh? And we're flying. Positive rate. Clap to come up. Okay, if I had a prop, eh, I don't have a lot of options. Here. Here on one five, for the option. Play for the option, one five. One do this here. Take that right turn. I've got an option over there to my right, maybe. 200 feet to caps. Alright, caps are available. I'm full of shoot at this point. I'm told I'm heading west. So, westbound we go. Temperatures all look good. Nice and even. Commercial tower, Skywagon 49 34 Echo, 10 Southwest, landing, Gulf. Skywagon 34 Echo, Kenosha Tower. Uh, enter left base, uh, sorry, right base, runway 15, report two miles to the southwest. Okay, we'll enter the right base for... 
Shut off. That's interesting. I wonder if I've got radio here. Alright, before I do anything else, let's hold the altitude, let's hold this heading, and let's see if I can figure out what's going on with my headset. Now this doesn't have any batteries in it, right? No, and it shouldn't because it shouldn't be getting power right from the Oh, isn't that interesting? Wow. I have no power in the one five. One do this here. Interesting. I wonder if a breaker blew or something. Oh yeah, somebody popped a breaker. All right. Oh yeah, there we go. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. So I'm heading back to the airport because my... Uh, I blew a circuit breaker somewhere has to do with the um, the audio panel or something because it's uh, giving me some trouble. And I've reset the breaker several times and it, it keeps on popping so I'm going to head back. Okay, Ocean Tower, Tier 345 Tango Sierra. I need to return, I've got a blown breaker. Tango Sierra, Ocean Tower, Roger, runway 15, clear to land, wind 10010. 15, uh, clear to land, 5 Tango Sierra, thanks. Okay, so, well. Let's see, all of that is good. Mixture, I never did manage to reset the mixture. Pump is on, yep, I know what I'm gonna do here. Okie dokie, let's get my map up so that I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh man. All right, we'll come on down to Pattern altitude. And can I say three four echo request uh, landing long? This guy like a three four echo approved is requested. Correct. There's an aircraft ahead of me. Engine 45, contact departure. Over to departures, engine 45. All right, here I am on a, a right base to 1-5, huh? So I should be able to come down. Let's 
slow her down so I can get the first notch of sla flaps in. Okay, that's flap speed. First notch. Keep on coming down now. We're skywagon 3 4 are you going to the south ramp? 3 4 echo, perfect. Okay, just stay with me to park. Take it all the way to the end. 4 echo, thanks. Okay, 96 knots, that's good. I'm descending at a good rate, that's nice. Okay, no problem really. Wind 10012. Alright, well, we're coming in 15100. Uh, just to be sure that a blown breaker doesn't need, you don't need any assistance, do you? I know it's just, I'll just pull back to the north ramp, 5 Tango Sierra. Alright, we're lining right up on that runway, that's nice. Last notch of flaps. Short final runway 1-5. Eighty-seven knots. That's fine. Nice stable approach. No big deal. Little high. Let's go. Yep, 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 yep. We can slow it down now. Good, 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 good. And there we go. Alright. Elevator's all the way back. We're going to turn right on Alpha. Five Tango Sierra, stay with me to park. Stay with you to the north ramp, Five Tango Sierra. So what is a blown breaker exactly? Oh, one of my circuit rig, uh, breakers blew it in uh, my audio panel, I think. Gosh, yeah, okay, I figured it was something like that. All right, well, I'll head back. That was a nice short flight. <laughs> and we'll uh, put the airplane away and see what breaker that is, because that's interesting. A lot of times when that happens, it's just the breaker itself that needs to be replaced. I don't think there's any kind of a short in here anywhere. I mean, everything's working properly, so. You know, airplanes, always issues, always issues. <laughs> That's a scoop with airplanes, guys. Issues. what I wanted to do, but at least I did one nice landing, and it was a pretty landing, so I remember how to land. That's good. Alright, we'll make the turn, go forward just a little bit to straighten out the nose wheel. Alright, check the mags. Yeah, those mags seem to work. All right, kill the mixture. All the switches. Turn the mags off. Okay, now. Put the caps pin back in. And we're done. <laughs> well, sooner than I thought, but okay, whatever, you know. <laughs> Airplanes. Uh. What breaker blue? The 12 volt DC outlet blue, that's what it looks like. The 12 volt DC outlet. Now, I don't have anything plugged in to the 12 volt DC outlet. 
that's interesting. I wonder if they're using... Okay, well, I'm gonna take some pictures of this. 